Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. We have three cards here and I don't want to get card myself. I will take these three. Take time to breathe out. What do you need to release? Don't let pride get in your way. There is a story in your life, my dear. Let me take this and we will start. Lion. Somebody is sending you a message, my dear. The cards are jumping. I didn't take any card myself. This is a message coming to you. The lion, it seems there is a situation in your life. You need to release someone to be with someone else. Or you need to release something inside you. And I believe that something is the pride. You want someone, but you feel too... Like you don't want to open up to them. Or maybe you don't want... Somebody is coming. See, there is more than one story here. Maybe somebody is coming from your past, but based on your pride, your ego, you don't want to give them another chance, even though you are in love with them and you want them in your life. For some others, there is something you need to release in your life to be with someone you want. There is something you have to change for some of you. This is about work. It's so many stories, but the message is, don't let your ego ruin your life. Take time to breathe out. Relax, release your energy, release that. Maybe anger inside you. Maybe that pride that inside you that will tell you, I am not going to say yes. I, I have to t torture this individual because of what they did. This reading is telling you. If you want, let's see, if what you are doing is only to, tor to torture this individual, keep in mind that you are torturing yourself as well. Because if you feel that you want to do what you want to do only to make this individual get hurt or feel bad or like a revenge, that means you're still holding feelings towards them inside you. If this individual really doesn't mean anything to you, you will just let them go with a very peaceful energy. This is not a peaceful energy. I don't know what the situation that you are in. There is a message very strong coming to you, my dear, telling you, don't destroy your life based on pride. Don't let pride get in your way. We have two Leo cards here. I am a Leo, so I can say it, and this is the truth. There is an ego with Leo. There is two cards telling you there is something stopping you from living what you want to live or release what you want to release based on the wrong reasons. Don't ruin your life only to prove that you were right. It's not worth it, my dear. If you want what you want, don't let it go for the wrong reasons. Love is too short.
to play games, to hurt others and hurt ourselves at the same time. Maybe this is a work situation and there is something you need to do, but your pride is standing in the middle of doing what you want to do. This reading is telling you, my dear, there is a divine message for you. Reconsider what you are doing if this situation is yours. Let's start. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups. There is a conflict between you and someone and both of you want each other's. Don't let your ego ruin your life. If you love them and you feel that you can forgive them because sometimes there is mistakes we cannot forgive. If you feel that what they did is something you can forgive and you're still in love with them, don't waste the chance. Because not everyone in this life will get another chance. Second chance is only for lucky people. Don't destroy your luck. This is your health. Two of Cups. The Nine of Swords. The Seven of Cups. This is your money and career. Temperance. The Magician. Death. Whoa, something major is going on here. The Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords are in reversed. We'll keep them here. This is your love life. The Hierophant. The Four of Cups. Six of Swords. And this is our outcome. That is the Two of Cups was the first card in this reading. There is a very strong soul connection here with this Two of Cups. Both energies are too mixed together and there is a very soul energy soul connection energy coming from this card here mixing blue with yellow love with passion and I believe you have both what happened in the past with this individual or even like for the majority of you this is an ex somebody coming from the past even for some of you if this is a new person there is love and passion here but your fear is stopping you from going forward in this situation you have the two of cups the nine of swords and the seven of cups you are trying to explore options, looking for something else. The only thing that you are doing with this Seven of Cups is trying to run away from this. Now, I want you to keep in mind this could be vice versa. This could be this, the, the energy that you are dealing with. I'm going to do the reading as if this is you. And you flip the energy if you feel like you need to do that. In the middle of your reading, we have the magician, and this is you. <clears throat> you are so powerful, and you can do anything you want. You can manifest anything in your life, and I believe you have that balance with this temperance in your life, but you are transforming. Maybe you are going to a new career, new job, opening something, 
like for you a project there is something shifting in your career here switching from something to another you're trying with this death my dear and i'm not feeling this only about work to leave someone behind and change the energy of your life while if you will see this girl she's still looking back to that individual she want them she want to be with them but she is pushing forward based on stubbornness because she doesn't want after she said no to say yes that's all in your love life we have the hierophant the four of cups and the six of swords There is, and again, there is a big, a very strong soul connection here. Or maybe it was a commitment in your life. Something happened here. And again, I'm telling you one more time because this is very important. We cannot advise people to forgive because each one of us has a red line nobody can cross. There is something you can, if every one of us, not only you, there is something we cannot forgive. This is for everyone. Maybe for you, you can forgive anything except lying or cheating or running away or using like violence in life. Whatever your taboo is, Whatever is the something that you cannot forgive about. If this is something you can forgive, this reading is advising you, if you are still in love with this individual, don't let them go. Excuse me. This individual is coming with the her with the hierophant energy. Very mature and serious energy. If there was a conflict in the past in your life, I don't think this individual is the same person like the one you used to know. They transformed their energy. This is about spirituality about commitment about intuition the hierophant has that deep connection between the 3d and the 5d they are mature in both and they are connected to both it's not only about spirituality they are grounded as well They are about belief systems, religion, what's right, what's wrong in life, in the 3D. And this individual is coming back holding this energy. In this Four of Cups, I believe this individual tried like you to switch you with someone else, replace you. But I don't think they succeeded exactly like you because you tried. And I believe you didn't try before. This is the feeling that I have. You didn't try before because you were not really focused on love for a very long time, maybe since you left this individual. But you started to look for options, trying to be in a relationship the moment this individual appeared in your life to show them maybe that you have someone or to run away from them.
But this six of swords, I believe this relationship will go to a calmer place. What do you need to, to release? There is something you need to release, my dear. You need to release the past and look to the future because the past is over. As I told you, and this is the last thing I'm going to say before opening the outcome, only lucky people get second chance. Let's see. The Page of Cups. There is a beautiful, small gesture, new beginning and love here. Release what you need to release, my dear, and don't let pride get in your way. That's what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thanks again for all the love and the support. Take time to breathe out. This is exactly like releasing. Let out. This is your message. Take it or leave it. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.